I'm go today I'm going to be talking about making some dough and maybe a little bit of creation on Topher's take. So today I want to talk about a little bit about creation and maybe Star Wars, you know, because this past week was May the 4th. You know, and I was thinking about that a little and in A New Hope, you know, Yoda, well not in A New Hope, uh, in The Empire Strikes Back, you know, Yoda talks about how there's another hope besides Luke Skywalker. And everybody thought, thinks it's, thought it was Leia. You know, personally, I don't subscribe to that, that because I think there are other viable options, you know. But, you know, let's not get into my full geekdom here. You see, I found some evidence that supports my other options. So what does this have to do with creation? Well, as you saw in my uh, intro, we're talking about making dough. And when you, I work at a pizza place, so I know a little bit about making dough. And no pun intended. But, uh, you know, if the mixture of yeast and all that is off just a little, or if the flour is off just a little, or if the water, if you have the, you know, wrong amount of water, it's, if it's not hot enough, just a little bit, that dough isn't going to be usable, at least not for work. You know where I work at, uh, but if it's just off a little bit, and I'm thinking about the world around us, you know, if the earth was off a little bit, just a little bit closer to the sun, we'd burn up. If there was just a little bit more oxygen in the atmosphere, there'd be spontaneous fires and we wouldn't be here. You know, and all these, you know if this was just a little bit off or if that was just a little bit off you know that kind of evidence points me to a creator you know, that somebody thought and put this together now I suppose you know I could just willy nilly like you just dump some dough in the bucket throw some water in and you know, maybe some yeast and maybe the flour would be okay Maybe it would come out right, maybe it wouldn't. Odds are it wouldn't, you know. If I just did things willy-nilly or randomly. You know, but if you take that thought process of, okay, I need this much flour, I need this much water at this temperature, and I need this much yeast, this much of that, and mix them together to make it right, that dough's going to turn out good, and it's going to be solid. And I can't help thinking about it. You know, and looking around us, and I'm like, man, I don't think any of this happened willy nilly. You know, I don't think it was just some random occurrence. I think somebody put some serious thought into it. So, back to Star Wars. I can find evidence that supports my theory. Okay? I've done the research, I can find the evidence. Does that necessarily mean that theory is right? Or is that theory popular? Even though I can back it up. You see, people have theories on how we got here. You know, from the Big Bang to creation to aliens, you know. Yes, aliens. It's apparently now a viable theory. If you look at intelligent design. But just don't have your theory first. And then look for evidence to support it. Look at the evidence, and then develop a theory around that. For me, the evidence points to the theory of creation. You know, and you can call, say that's because of my religious beliefs or what. But, I honestly do believe that there was a creator. And that creator is none other than my personal Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Anyway, just maybe a little bit of fun here with Star Wars and, you know, may the fourth be with you and all that stuff. And 
I was just thinking about that this past week and I thought I'd pass it on. You guys take care. Goodbye and God bless.